Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to get a user IP address in Django. So let's first understand what does we mean by an IP address. So IP address stands for an internet protocol address. An IP address is a number that is allocated to a network device and it is used for the device identification and location. Basically, this IP address is used by the computers to connect with another on a different networks and the internet and all the de network devices have an IP address. It might be a website, a camera, a laptop, a desktop device or even a toy for a kid that connect with an internet. So let's proceed and learn how we get an IP address in Django. So here I am going to create a Django project which shows you how we get an IP address in Django. So first of all I have created a project in a Django with the name user IP address I hope you all know that how we create a project in a Django. If you don't know, I will explain you the command. The command is Django-admin start project and then you have to define the your project name. So after creating a project, you have to move to the project directory by using the cd command and then in the in this directory, you have to create a create Django application by using the command python manage.py start app. And then you have to define your app name. So in my case, I have created an app with the name my app and the project with the name user IP project. After creating a app, you have to install it. For installing it, you have to open your project directory. Here you have a file with the name settings.py. Open this file and move to the list with the name installed apps. And here you have to define the name of your app. So here I define the name of my app, my app. Then you have to specify the URL s.ty file for map the newly created app inside it. So here we have by default URL s.ty file. So I open this file and here you can see that I include the path of my app by using an include function and here in it I pass the my apps.urls. So now it, after that we have to define the view that is the main logic for an application in the views.py file. So you have to open your app. In my case, I open the my app directory and here you will find a file with the name views.py. Open this file. This file basically contains the main logic. So here I write up the code that help us to get the IP address of a user. So here you can see that I create a view name IP address. Here I create a function and the function name is IP address. So it will get the IP address of the user and then to get the client IP address, I use the HTTP underscore X underscore forwarded underscore for variable. Basically it stores the IP address when the user is going through a proxy or a load balancer. And to get the local client's IP address, it will use the remote underscore adder, A-D-D-R. And it returns the result as a 127.0.0.1. So if you are using a local client, it will show you the IP address with the help of this. If you are using the other proxy server, you will get the IP address by using this variable. So here I am using the if statement to know about it which one we are using and after that I have printed with the help of a HTTP response welcome user then I use the br tag which breaks the line you are visiting from and then I leave it blank and it formats the IP address so from here it gets the IP address. So after creating up the view, you have to call it and for this you must map it with the URL. So we have to create a urls.py file in app directory. So here I create a file with the name urls.py and here I define the path of my view. So here I mention my views.ip address and it imports all the view. Then you have to execute the code in the command prompt to get the result. So here I open my command prompt and in my project directory, I use the command python manage.py 
run server to execute my program. So when I click on enter, it takes some time for running. So just wait. So here you can see that its performance start and it, here you will get the HTTP address. Copy this and open in your browser. So here you can see that I get the result. Welcome user you are visiting from. This is my IP address as I am local. I am using the local system. So it will shows me at 127.0.0.1. So with this we have learned how to get an IP address of a user in Django. If you like this video click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thanking you for watching and have a great day.